Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am excellent. I am back today with a Dollar Tree haul for you and found some really good stuff that I wanna share. I wanna start though, some of you were asking me about my nail color. Don't mind them, they got all chipped up. I was cleaning house and they need redone. All of this is from the Dollar Tree guys. I've showed these now many times. They are the um, Maybelline base, base coat and top coat. Do I have it right? Base coat has a silver top, top coat has a yellow top, and the pink itself is actually the Kiss Gel nail polish, and it is two coats on my nails. It looks really wild in the bottle. It's almost like marbleized, like pink and white, but then when you actually do it, when you put it on, that's the color it turns. Just a really vibrant, just summer pink color. I love it. So that's what's on my nails today, guys. For those of you that asked, all right, did you guys see my thumbnail? And another thing, a lot of you ask, what is the thumbnail? The thumbnail is the picture when you're just scrolling around YouTube and you see people's names with the, the picture of what their video is about, that picture, that is the thumbnail. And in my thumbnail, I always have like Dollar Tree haul and I'll say, you know, something on the side like wow or new or whatever. That is my thumbnail with a picture of something in it. In today's, this is what was in it. $1.25, guys, Crayola. Couldn't pass these up. We got two. They're the same, They're all the trolls. But this is Crayola, and it's a coloring pack. And in here, you get 30 coloring pages, four washable markers, and one sticker sheet. And it does say non-toxic on the bottom. I have no idea who these girls are. I think that's, is her name Poppy? Don't, I'm not sure, but I just thought this would be great. And these are the colors of the markers that are in here. Blue, yellow, I think that's purple, and that, that same bright pink. You can see the stickers. This is a nice size pack for $1.25. And everything in this haul is $1.25. And if I ever have a plus item, guys, I will let you know. I won't just let you think it's $1.25. I will tell you how much I paid for it. But everything in this haul is $1.25. But I'm gonna see if maybe the kids want these. I may put them in my little Christmas bins that I have for them. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do with these yet. Toys for Tots, maybe. I should have picked up more. That is a great deal. I did get two. Excellent. So if you guys know if there's any other characters out there, please let me know. You know, let me show that to you a little bit closer because I don't know how well I did on that. Crayola. And it does seem like it's a resealable pouch as well that the kids could put all their stuff right back in it. Has little zip across the top. All right, food items. Just a couple things. It's getting to be this time of the year in our house. Do you guys eat more pickles in the spring and summer? We do, I don't know why. In the winter time, it's like I'm not really hungry for pickles, but once spring and summer gets here, I love them. And we have used these many, many times. Love this, is it Breckenridge? Breckenridge Farms, the kosher, kosher sandwich slices. This is a 17 fluid ounce jar of them. We like these a lot. And they're the thin slices that you would put on a sandwich or in a wrap. They're excellent, and the best buy on these is November of 25. So nice long shelf life. I like the, the pickle spears, I love the baby dills, love them all. Hubby loves the relish. I'm not a big relish fan. I would rather have a full size pickle. But these are super good in a nice size jar for $1.25. So we just picked up one of those, and then they have been bringing out a lot of drinks lately, and these are back. I remember these were out, what, probably a year or so ago. They're back, and I think it's called Co brand, and these are packed with probiotics, and it says it's kombucha only better, and this is the strawberry lemonade. It's 25 calories per can, naturally flavored sparkling beverage, and these are USDA organic. Love that and it is 12 fluid ounces. I can't drink it though. And any of you out there that don't like, can't drink stevia, this has stevia in it, but hubby will drink these. 
kombucha is so good for you. And they also had it in the blueberry ginger. Looks like the same information. So those are the two flavors that we found. If you guys know, are there more flavors out there? Please let us know, because I know a lot of you love this. I just personally, Stevia doesn't like me. I get horrible stomach cramps from Stevia. And yes, it's the Stevia guys that I have a problem with. And I don't know if there's a Best Buy on these or not. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing a Best Buy on these, so. But yeah, I think they're great. Hubby loves them, so these will go in the fridge or just right over ice. All right, I had a request from London. Last year, or the year before, in the sunglasses area, in the kids' sunglasses, they had the cutest. They were like round sunglasses with like a mirror effect on the outside, but it was kind of like almost rainbow, like yellows and iridescent kind of colors. She calls them her Ozzy Osbourne glasses. She sent me a message the other day, a text asking if I was going to be going shopping to keep an eye out if I would for those, her Ozzy Osbourne sunglasses. So I have been on the hunt. So far, I haven't had any luck, but they looked very similar to these, just little round sunglasses. Her frames were white, but the lenses themselves were like a colorful mirror. So I picked her up a pair of these pink ones just in case I can't find the other ones. And then I did pick her up this pair as well. These are more of a, almost a, a see-through purpley pink color with the round lenses. And if she doesn't like these, the, the, you know, we have plenty of granddaughters, but they're so cute. And these are, what does it say on here? They're flexible frames, bendable sunglasses for ages three plus, and it does say ultraviolet protection on it. And this pair is actually polarized, which I think is super nice. And they're just in like the kids' sunglasses area. So I'll see what she says about these. And if she doesn't want them, then they'll just be here for whoever happens to need them at the time. But I am on the hunt for the white framed ones, white frames, circles with the mirror type look on the outside, but it's like a yellow. So if you guys see those in your stores, please let me know so that I can keep an eye out. And then we picked up a whole bunch of the seeds. They were fully stocked. And we're just gonna actually put these in like flower pots sitting around. This one is by the American Seed Company, which I think they all are. These are the wildflower blend for a sunny area. And you get many different seeds in here. And I actually read every single one, like they're in their, their um, scientific name. So I actually looked them up because I do not wanna plant anything that has um, morning glories in it. Many years ago, we had, must have been a bird because we didn't plant them. A bird must have helped a seed along and a morning glory popped up in the yard and along the house. And I thought it was so pretty. I, you know, let it grow and not realizing how fast morning glories can spread. It took me about three years to finally get them all up because they just kept spreading everywhere along the house. So be careful with morning glories. I love them. They're beautiful, but they they can take over. And there were no morning glories in here, so that made me happy. And then we picked up a pack of the Impatience. And what was this one? Oh, these are just sunflowers. And the zinnias. So these are just going to kind of go in, in pots around... You know, the sunflowers will have to get our pretty big, big pots out for those. And then we picked up a couple things of basil and chives. And the basil and chives were four for a dollar. I'm thinking these were a dollar twenty-five a piece, but the actual little seed packets and the prices there, they're four for a dollar. So we're gonna plant those in some pots. And I also have some basil in here earlier in the spring, they came out with um, the little pots that already have it in it. I need to get those out. I've been kind of waiting till the end of April to bring all of those out to start them because 
you know, we still have some pretty cold nights here in Pennsylvania, so I'm holding off till as close to May as I can. All kind of seeds, guys, if you need seeds for anything. And we have used their vegetable seeds in the past many, many times, and they work great. So just a little heads up on that. Picked this up for myself from the beauty section. LA Colors, man, they are coming out with so many different things. This is the Tropical Bloom line, and this is blush in the shade Gazing. It just looked pretty. But, you know, it's always hard to tell through the packaging because you get it out of the packaging and the color looks completely different. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to quick swatch this. That's one thing that I don't have very much of is blush. I don't, I just don't. I don't have many different shades of blush. This is what the packaging looks like. Very cute. That's a pretty color. Pretty. Almost a a peachy nude pink color. That's beautiful. Very pretty. That would make a pretty eyeshadow as well. And yes, guys, you can use blush as an eyeshadow. No weird scent. So this was just hanging in one of their displays. I just thought it would be nice to have. I really like that. That's pretty. Very nice. All right, next thing, let me grab a tissue here quick so I don't get this all over my shirt. Picked up one of these because we just love them. These are probably one of our top 20 things from the Dollar Tree because they work so well. And these are in like the car section, car automotive section. I've used these to craft, craft with back in the day when gnomes first came out. I made homemade at home do-it-yourself gnomes. I used this for their beards. I've made pillows out of these. And Hubby loves these in the vehicles to when we take the vehicle to the car wash or we do it ourselves, these are really nice to dry it off just to get all the spots, water spots off. These work great. And they're the super soft microfiber cloth and they're 16 by 24 inches. They're a nice size and they are just soft, guys. Now they call them microfiber, but it's not that weird grippy microfiber at all. They're, they're super soft. So we just picked up one, you know, after a while using it to wipe down the car, even washing them, they get yucky. So it's time to, time to toss. Kind of a boring item. Yes, it's allergy season in this house and I feel it and I've been going through some tissues. So I picked up a pack of their two ply, just their brand. You get 175 in here. These work well for me. They, they don't bother my nose. They're not harsh. I like them and 175. So Picked up a box just as backup. I do still have, I think, two boxes on hand, but they were fully stocked of the tissues, so I went ahead and grabbed them when I saw them. And then, where all of the, um, like where they have the, the kitchen towels and utensils and all of that, that area with the big packs of paper plates, not the party section. This was all in over in that section where the tissues and napkins and things are. They had all of these. This whole line of stuff, Serve brand, and it says, Our Promise, made from natural plant fibers. It says, Extra Strong Compostable White Straws. They're eight inches, and it's a 50 count. So I picked up one of these. They're recyclable, earth-friendly, non-toxic, extra strong. So I grabbed those. And then they had these packs of silverware. Not silverware, but cutlery. I picked up two boxes of these because these are just nice to have on hand. And if if Allison would want these, I'll pass them along to her for in her camper. And it also has the same promise on there, made from natural plant fibers, serve brand, extra strong compostable white cutlery, and it's a 24 count. You get eight forks, eight knives, and eight spoons. Recyclable, earth-friendly, non-toxic. And they had the bowls. And you get eight bowls in here. Great for fruits, chips, that type of thing. And they say they're soak resistant, cut resistant, temperature resistant, and they these are microwave safe. And they're a 12 ounce bowl. Nice size little bowl. And you get eight of them in here for $1.25. And then they had the little tiny plates, like a dessert plate, and you get 12 in here. They're six inch plates. 
Also microwave safe, temperature resistant, cut resistant, soak resistant. And then they had these really nice oval plates. I didn't see any round plates. So if you guys know that, please let me know. And you get six in here of the 10 inch plates. Also with the same information about microwave, temperature resistant, cut resistant, soak resistant, and six of them. So I'm gonna put these aside for, you know, when family comes around or see if Allison does want them for in the camper. Nice. Why not? She will probably really love that. And then in the um, crafting area, they had this by Crafter Square. It's polymer, polymer, am I saying that right? Polymer, polymer clay. The new didn't sound right. The red, kind of a terracotta, yellow, green, blue. And then this with kind of a tan, white. That looks like a, almost a green, green gray a gray and a black. So I thought the kids might enjoy this. So I picked up one of each pack. I didn't see any other any other packs of color combinations. Super nice. And it does say it conforms to and it has some long list of numbers and it says they're non-toxic. So that's interesting. Nice to know. Grabbed one of each for the kids, see what they think. And then in the soap section, I love Dove Soap, but I like the fragrance free for sensitive skin one. But I want to give these a try because they smelled so good. This is the Dove Pink, and it is it's a beauty bar with deep moisture, moisturizing cream, 3.17 ounce bar. I just wanted to give this a try. It just smells so nice, and it, it reminds me of back in the day. I love that scent. And then they had it in the Shea Butter. So I picked this one up to try it. Very nice scent. This one is a very light scent. I picked up one of each. I love Dove brand. I love it. I have been using the Bar Soap, the Sensitive one now for probably a good year and a half and I love it and I actually in Dollar General when we were in there the last time I was going down their dollar row and they had I can't remember the name of this the brand of the soap but it was lemon scented a, a bar soap from the shower so I picked one up for a dollar to try it and I love the scent of it the scent is amazing but I felt the difference it like just left a film on your body like a plasticky film and I didn't like that at all and the Dove Soap for sensitive skin does not do that so I'm kind of curious to try these <clears throat> and see what these are like love it all right everybody that is it for this haul pretty big one today I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff put away move along with my day I hope you're doing well if you like this type of thing please subscribe I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family you guys are the best. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.